Hey, hello. This should be a quick one. Uh, I want to talk about customized windows and doors in Honeybee. So I get a lot of questions about customizing apertures, uh, not just based on a ratio, but based on a layout, a window layout, or the exact location of, of a certain window on your uh, Honeybee object. Could be a room or, or a Honeybee model. Just want to very quickly check that out and uh, show you how that works. Um, I work in, I have just recently installed Honeybee, uh, the Ladybug Tools 1.3. So the latest version, uh, it seems it works fine so far. And um, yeah, let's, let's have a look how that might work. If you have an older version of Ladybug, don't worry uh, of, of Honeybee, uh, don't worry too much. It's, it's going to be very, very similar. So there won't be much change really to the method. It's just uh, be sure that you understand in Honeybee, in the legacy tools, uh, rooms are called zones and in the Ladybug tools, in the new Ladybug tools, uh, rooms are rooms. Let's dive in. Okay, we have opened here Rhino. I would recommend you work in meter. Uh, if you work in feet, I recommend then you translate your model into meter. It's just uh, more, it's just, uh, yeah, it will work with Honeybee. Otherwise you, your results might be wrong. Um, what else? So we are in the Honeybee component folder here. Um, there is Honeybee Radiance and Honeybee Energy, but at the moment we're just building this, this very simple script just to show you how to set um, customized uh, apertures. Previously, we done that always with the ratio, and I show that also just to compare the difference. So um, I also recommend that when you build a script and when you learn Grasshopper, or really anything in Grasshopper, always start with a simple, with the most simplest model. And then when your, when your script works, then you can apply it to a more complex thing. Okay, I will just create a very simple box here. We, we assume that this is our room. Don't care too much now about the size. 12 meters is a bit quite tall. Let's uh, make it more realistic. It's still very tall, it doesn't matter. Um, it's a big, tall room. And there could be other rooms next to it. Uh, and, buff and, and so on but we at the moment we don't care about it. so we assume that this is a room and we have windows at the front um so how does it work first we need to s create a room from a solid so that honeybee knows that this is our room we can set it. we can uh, get a b wrap container and then link our object and then i will just hide this I don't want to see that. I also don't want to see this. Um, and there's a tool for visualizing. Um, and we can use this one here. HP Visualize Wireframe. I like that because then uh, if you do, for example, a radiance study, then uh, you can actually see what's happening inside. And here you have the output. As I said before, in the legacy tools, you have zones, but it's pretty much the same. So rooms is here the output and it's a honeybee object. So you can just place so if you read here, honeybee, ob honey, honeybee object, honeybee model, room, face, shade, aperture, or door is uh, previewed as a wireframe in the Rhino scene. So I can practice in here and you can see already um, the wireframe of my original box. Now to set uh, a window, what we did previously was we created apertures by ratio that works with this one. With that, we created our window. So again, we place our uh, objects, a Honeybee object here, and then we um, used a number to determine the ratio. So the ratio is uh, a number between zero and uh, 0 0.95, a number between zero and 0 0.95 for the ratio between the area of the apertures and the area of the parent face. Now we can't see it because uh, we haven't plugged it uh, to the correct output. So we can move this further and you can already see, okay, there's a now a window on all sides. That actually doesn't work because it's a room and we only, we assume we only have one side, which is 
an outside wall. So what we can do is we can use the HB facade parameters tool that we can actually set. Um, we can choose which side we want to have the ratio, uh, the, the window, and how we can actually decide and also uh, how big that window is for each side uh, customized. So if I put this in here, then I can see, okay, it's now it's on the north side. It's also not what we want. We want to have it on the south side. And in here you can set the height. Uh, sorry. And you can see that it uh, the surface splits because if I change the height, um, the tool tries to compensate uh, the ratio. So the ratio is still the same, uh, and in order to keep the ratio the same, it needs to split the windows in several windows. And it needs to split this one face in a smaller object, so they become thinner, the taller they get, basically. And you can set more stuff here. Still height, horizontal, horizontal separated, um, and yeah, vertical separation, operable, and so on. So you can set these additional um, parameters. But what we want to do, we want to have, we want to set a specific, we, we have our specific layout, uh, which we want to create, or several windows we, we want to set in, in the way we want and not based on the ratio. So how would that work? So first of all, we need um, the layout. We need these objects. So for example, I have, I want to have a smaller window here on the top and I want to have a bigger window on the side and so on. Like for example, I want to have something like this. comparison I put this on the left side let's just do that so you can actually see how that works so I'm gonna use this and put it on the west on the east side and now okay I want to set uh, my own I want to set these objects here as my windows but I need actually um, faces. So I need to draw faces first. And to make a surface out of these, I can actually do this. So now I have a surface here and I do the same with this one. So I have these two surfaces. I will, I will close that, so we don't need that now. So these, these are my custom windows. And how to set that is very simple. We just go here on Honeybee add subsurface. So this is my this is my current uh, Honeybee object. This is my current room with these with these windows here, and I can place that here. And in the subsurface, I could now set subsurfaces. But the problem is these are not uh, yet defined correctly. So I just get this one, HB aperture. This can be the window or it can be a door. And I need another container. I set these two uh, surfaces. So I have these two surfaces now in here. And I place it here. And I place that here. And that's it. It's actually quite straightforward now basically added uh, these new objects here as new windows and in theory you could also um, script your windows uh, in in grasshopper as a surface you could create surfaces uh, with your by scripting rather than uh, import them as b wraps no, it's just, uh, and then you can, if you want, you can uh, visualize that in a different way. That's how you could visualize it. Seems a problem with this uh, tool here. I don't know why. I think you need to, if you want to have different colors, then you can use this. 
tool here, visualize room geometry in the scene or less by object and face type. Yeah. These different faces visualized. So we have on the west side we have these um the windows per ratio. You can still change it if you want. And then uh, here we have custom shape for the window. And yeah, that's how it works. If you want to add doors, you can also add doors. This is this one here. Um, and it works exactly the same. Actually, I had some troubles now. Very important, uh, when you set these objects here, then they can't touch the edge of your of your room because i wanted to set my my door like this so i set my door like this so I set my door like this and um i placed it in here when i try to do this it actually gives me an error and that's why and that's the reason is that this face here is uh, is touching the edge of my room. That's not possible. So it needs to be actually inside. And then it works. So now, now I have a door, I have a window on top and another big large window here. That's how you set customized windows and doors. Yeah, I hope that helps. Uh, I know a lot of people had this question, how does it work? And um, See you next time.